So today I have a charm update for you, and it's charm update number eight. So yeah, and once again, I have made all of these, and it was supposed to just go in charm update number seven, but once again, I don't want you guys to have to go on my channel and look for part three and stuff, so I just wanted to make it easier. So yeah, and then I made these super adorable golden Oreos, and those are made out of Play-Doh, so yeah. And then I made this Wonder Dough Oreo, and um, I'm not sure if this is dry, I'm pretty sure it's dry, but when Wonder Dough is like, dries, it doesn't shrink like Play-Doh, and it's all wiggly, but it doesn't lose its shape, so yeah, that's a little weird. So yeah, and then I made some pastry sets, so the first ones I made were these these ones, so there's two melon pans, and um, if you're wondering how to make like a tan color other than buy the tan color of Play-Doh, you can take golden and white Play-Doh and mix it together, so yeah, and then I made these, this set of um, cinnamon rolls. Inspired by my friend Kylie, but she's never starred on my channel before, so you guys don't know who she is. So, yeah. And then I made these three, Shishi the Panda, and they're sparkly and pink. So, yeah. And then I made these three, and there's two of them that are blue and pink marbled and just blue. So, yeah. And then I finally made some polymer and clay charms for once. So, yeah. And I didn't have much inspiration, so I didn't make much, but yeah. And so, the first thing I made out of polymer and clay is this red velvet ice cream scoop with chocolate sprinkles. And then I made this pomegranate or strawberry flavored ice cream with chocolate drizzle and a cherry on top. And this is my favorite piece that I made. And then I made this Oreo that is glow in the dark. And it kind of looks like it's glowing right now, but yeah. And then I made this donut ring for my sister. And then I made these two eggplants. So the first one is chubby and fat. And I actually did put some texturing on the leaf. Oh, no, not on this one. So, yeah, it's sparkly. And then, wait, both of these don't have texturing on the leaf. Um, so, yeah, sorry. And then I have this one, and it's not chubby, I guess. <laughs> and then I made this rose inspired by So Craftastic. And sorry these aren't glazed. Um, I just didn't feel like it. So, yeah. And then I made these really weird mini Mouse things, like the Play-Doh ones that I made. But yeah, so there's this green one. Oops, there's some lint on that. Okay, so it's green with a fuchsia bow or something like that. And then this one is supposed to be like a ragdoll one, but I mean, it didn't turn out as well as I thought it would. So yeah. And then I made this onigiri inspired by Poochie Land. And then I made this sushi for my sister because I'm going to put it on a keychain because um, she really wanted uh, me to make her one like this. And it's really dirty and I don't really like it that much. But if I glaze it, it'll look a lot better. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And I really like this. And it's also inspired by Poochie Land. If you watched her... Um, sushi train tutorial like how to make all those sushis so yeah and then i made this chocolate kiss and then i made this macaroon and it's purple marbled in with um black if you can see so yeah and it's a bit sparkly and then i made some red red stuff so i made this apple and what inspired me to have a golden stem on it 
is Christina Zayde because she gave me an apple biscuit. And um, I think you can see that apple biscuit in my charm review for her. So, yeah. And then I made this tomato. Just, I don't know. I don't know why. And then I made some really cute stuff that involve having to brush your teeth, I guess. So first I made this really random flavored ice cream. I don't even know if they make this. Or it could be ube. But ube is a little bit darker. So yeah. And then I made this chocolate roll cake. Or an Argentinian dessert. Because my um, friend told me that. So yeah. And then I made this chocolate bar. And I know it doesn't look like chocolate, it looks more like some crackly road thing. But yeah, it was just for fun. Because I didn't have much, like, inspiration. So yeah. And then I made this pancake inspired by Christina Zayde and paper pastels. So yeah. And then I made this translucent pink mustache. And then the last thing is really a fail. But I guess I'll show you guys. It's one of those lollipops. And I learned this the hard way, but Sculpey Translucent just isn't good. So I'm probably going to be using Primo for Translucent now. So yeah, and it's, and it's really ugly and it bubbles up. And it, it's just, I don't know. I really wouldn't recommend the Translucent. Um, and I don't know, this never happened to me unless I used a Primo, but I think the only Primo color I used was the Blue Sparkly and the Ecruel for once, but I never got it again because, um, I don't know, it was a great color, but I mean, I don't know. So, yeah. Bye, guys!